one. So today's video is just going to be a simple pinup look. Um, I've been going crazy for this look and I've seen quite a few looks that resembles this and I'm like, you know what, I really want to try it. I want to see how simple it is. And I found out that it's very simple to create. So I'm really sorry about the light today. I don't know. I kind of feel it's kind of dark when I go back and light when I come up close. So bear with that, please. I'm so sorry about that. So yes, so if you guys want to know how I achieved this look, please keep on watching. So the first thing I went ahead and I did is that I applied as Mineral Eyeshadow Primer all over my eyelid and a little bit on the outer or lower lash line. And then I'm going to be taking my MAC palette. I'm going to be using a color called Coquette. And I'm just going to pick this color up with one of my favorite blending brushes that I got from Coastal Sense. It looks like this. It's amazing. It gets in the crease amazingly. So I'm just going to pick this up and I want to concentrate this at the outer corners of the outer crease basically. So for me is I have my mirror over here and for me to find my, my crease is just to look down and I can see it right away. So I'm just going to place the color right in the crease. And then you just need to blend. Once you have that place, just take a regular blending brush and you just need to blend it. This look basically is all about blending. So I'm just going to take Coquette again and place it again. That's all you need. I'm only using this color as in the outer crease color. Take a brush more defined. This is also another one of my favorite brushes from Coastal Sense. It's just a very mini small eyeshadow brush. I'm going to pick up Coquette again. And I want to make sure that I put it in the crease and blend upwards. So I can just make the color more intense. Just take the first brush that you used and slightly blend it. I'm going to take the defined little brush and I'm going to place Coquette on the outer corners or the outers of the lower lash line and slightly blend it to, to the inner corners but not all the way in though. Now then the next color I'm taking, you'll be really surprised but this is one of my favorite colors as well to use. Um, this is the Elf Beauty Book. I remember giving one or two away. I don't remember. Like a long time ago. I'm going to take this very pretty pink champagne color. Because they don't really have names on them. So, yeah. But I remember reading names off of there. I don't really remember. Alright, so I'm just going to pick this up with my Sigma eyeshadow brush. And this is the SS239 brush. And I want to place that on the eyelid. Very simple. And if you find that it got to the crease, just take your regular blending brush and just smoothly blend it in there. For highlight, I'm using MAC Vanilla. But I'm also going to go over with the uh, champagne color that I use from ELF. So I'm just going to take this with any blending brush. This tends to be my favorite one. Again, Coastal Sense. And I'm just going to place that as a highlight. I'm going to take the champagne color with the smaller eyeshadow brush. And this is from Coastal Sense. And I'm just going to take it and just slightly put it right under my eyebrow. And you just want to basically blend it as well. 
So I'll go ahead and apply eyeliner and mascara. The eyeliner that I'm going to be using is the Forever 21 Love and Beauty eyeliner. And then for mascara, I'm using two kinds. I'm using Liz Wetty Wow Mascara and MAC Zoom Fast Black Lash Mascara as well. So I'm going to do that and I'll be right back. While I finish my eyeliner and the mascara, I decided to go ahead and add a little bit shimmer in the inner corners. And I'm using again the e.l.f. Beauty Book. And I'm taking the lightest color in this whole palette, which is a very pretty shimmery pearl color with a small eyeshadow brush like this one, and this is from Sigma. And I'm just going to lightly put that in the tear duct area and just bring it a little bit to the lower lash line and blend it a little bit to the upward as well. Alright then, for blush, I don't know why it's kind of dark now. Whenever I don't want it to be like this, it's like this. And sometimes when I want it to be like this, it's not like this. Now, if I come really close like this, you guys can definitely see. Anyway, so, for blush, I went ahead and I used MAC Copper Tone, which is kind of... You guys know me already, right? And it's just like this, and I contoured my face with that. And then I used MAC Peaches. I don't have to say anything about this. And I put this on the apples of my cheeks. And then for lips, I went ahead and I used Lady Danger, which is my favorite lipstick ever, other than the Russian Red. But these are my two favorite ones from MAC. So this is the look. I also just did a hair tutorial. So I'll, hopefully it's going to be uploaded. Um, this video first, obviously, and then the hair tutorial. So keep your eyes on that. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will talk to you later. Bye, guys.